thank you, God, for giving us this privilege, this opportunity this is to the come day to your house Lord just to give you thanks, Lord. We are not going to look on our circumstances this we morning. Yes, Lord, there are so you. many we problems that we are having. You. But, God, we put we you are first this morning. Thank you, you are at the forefront, Lord Jesus. Lord, we come with praise in our heart. We come to worship, Lord Jesus. Because, Lord God, you are God. Lord Jesus, you are the king. You are the in control, oh God, of my life, Lord Jesus. Take full control, oh God. Reign within my heart, Lord Jesus. Oh God, that no foreign God, no other God. Reign within my heart. You are my king, Lord Jesus. Cleanse us and anything, oh God, any way that we fall short, oh God, today we put it at your feet. That you will reveal it, oh God, that you will search our hearts, oh God. Wash us, Lord Jesus, that we will come to offer sacrifices before you today. Oh God, it will be pleasing, it will be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus. Be with us, Holy Spirit, let your glory be felt in this service, oh God. Lord Jesus, we honor you, we praise you, we celebrate your holy name, and we thank you, oh God, for your birth in Jesus'
are some more verses to that song. We are going to sing them. Amen. Amen. Tech team, can you put up the other verse, please? But today is December 26th, and we are here. Sorry. <laughs> 25th and we are here we know Jesus was born on the 25th because Bible scholars are saying that but we are here to remember and to walk the Bethlehem journey and to go back and to honor God when the wise men heard that Jesus was born they came with their gold their frankincense and myrrh do you have any of those what did you come to use to honor God with today? You came with your songs. Amen. You came with your prayers. Yeah. Whichever form you're praising, if it's a dance, if it's the music, if the voice, whatever. I want us to look like we are here to worship him. They came and they worship him. Amen. And we are here to give God our best worship how can you be in a service like this and hold back on your worship amen you can't you can't and you shouldn't i'm seeing some new some faces here that i've not seen in a long time and i know that persons are here who sacrifice to be here and because we they acknowledge that god deserve this honor of being of them being in church today amen so we are here to worship him Sing chorus of angels Sing in exaltation Sing all ye citizens of heaven Glory to God Glory to God Glory in the highest Oh Sunday morning service. Glad that you chose Greater Grace Temple. Hallelujah. Glad that you chose Greater Grace Temple, 65A Dinner Road, Kingston 3, to come and worship. And our pastor is here. Hallelujah. And uh, she'll be coming to you right now. She'll be coming to you right now to open the service today in prayer. Amen. God bless her. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, we love you. We thank you 
we glorify you. We magnify you. We give you all praise and honor this morning because it is all due unto you. We thank you, Lord, for the price you paid for our salvation. Today we are in the sanctuary. We lift our hands in praise and adoration. Lord, only because you came into this world, the King of glory, he came into this world. Oh God, you were born as a servant's child in a manger. Lord God, there was no fanfare, but you came with a purpose. And that purpose was to rescue lost mankind, all of us. Lord, the journey led to your death on Calvary, the shedding of your blood, so that today we who are washed in your blood, we can shout hallelujah. We shout glory to God in the highest. We shout, oh, magnify the Lord with me because such a wonderful work that you did at Calvary that started in a manger. Lord, we glorify you. Never a baby like Jesus. Mighty God, you are called wonderful. Your name, oh, is Emmanuel. You are God walking on this earth. And today, Lord God, we have you within us. We have you beside us. We have you before us. We have you as our rear guard. What a God. What a mighty God. What an awesome God. And Lord Jesus, it all began with your birth. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We hallow and we honor your name. We bow down before and we worship you. We give you glory. Today, Lord, we invite your presence here with us. That God, as we lift up our hands and our hearts in praise and adoration, that Jesus, you will be in the midst to receive our praise, to receive our thanks, mighty God, and that you will bless us in return, even as we bless you with our whole heart. Lord God, you will pour out your blessings upon us. We wait, Lord God, to hear your words. Mighty God, as you speak to us, Lord, we ask that you will wash us, cleanse us, make us whole. Because God, wherewith can we be cleansed? But Lord, through the washing with your word, have your way in our lives today. Every one of us, everyone that is, Lord, leading ministering in different ways. Father, we ask that you will remove self this morning and that Jesus, you, Lord, will be lifted high, that you, Lord, will be exalted in each of us, Lord, who stand to lead and to minister in different ways. And as the congregation join, Lord God, in the worship, let your presence, let your glory fall upon us today. We tell you thanks. Lord, remember your servant who will minister the word. We ask God that you will give him that word, that anointed word, that unction, Lord God, to deliver your message to your people this morning, that our hearts, Lord God, will be filled. Our cups will run over, and we say thank you in Jesus' name. Let the church shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We'll be reading a portion of God's holy word from St. Luke 1. It tells of the, the events leading up to the birth of Jesus and proclaiming the birth of Jesus. And it's a long chapter. I, our pastor will be reading for us. Um, she will read as led by the Lord. So can you turn your Bibles to St. Luke 1? And we want to take some time, give the word its rightful place today and rightful time. We don't want to rush it. Amen? We want to experience this, uh, this account from, written by the Apostle Luke. Amen, amen. We need to hear from you. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, what will we do? Won't we do more? 
find Luke chapter 1 and we'll read alternate verses. There was in the days of Herod the king of Judea a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. And they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren, and they were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard. And thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall return to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zechariah said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am an old man. And my wife well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto thee and to show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself by her same. Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. And in the sixth month, the angel of Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. And he shall be great, and shall be called Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end. And 
to the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Hallelujah. Amen. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Yeah. And, and behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And, and Mary said, Behold, behold the handmaid of the Lord, Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. This is the word of God. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Can we shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We're all going to join in singing joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. The Lord has come.
of the Lord. I greet you all this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, who is my life and the light that has lit my pathway. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. We give honor, recognition to our senior pastor, Bishop Holdsworth. We have some special visitors in the house this morning. Uh, pastor and associate pastor um, Dixon. And all the way from New York, bless you. We thank you for coming in. Very good friend of ours. Them both very, very good friends. Uh, these are true believers in God. And we thank God for the fellowship that we have with them. To all those persons who are worshiping with us this morning, those who are visiting for the first time, we want to say thank you for choosing greater grace. Thank you. Uh, first time visitors in the house, could you just stand? Let us see where you are. Bless the name of the Lord. First time visitors, oh, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. It's not by chance that you are here. We want you to understand that God ordained from before the foundation of the world for you to be here. And we want to be at that place where we will help you experience your miracles in God. We praise the Lord for you and we look forward to a long and lasting relationship in the kingdom of God. To those persons on the social media platforms, we want to say also we welcome you today. In, uh, in our meeting that we are hosting, you have many choices, but you are here with us, and for that, we give God thanks. At this time, we will receive the notices, and we ask that you pay rapt attention as our minister comes at this time with those notices. God bless you. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Let us shout hallelujah. Let us shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise God. It is a privilege to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Oh, come, let us adore him. And we are here today not to sit down, but we have the creator, our maker, our sustainer, our Lord, our everlasting father. The king of kings, he was born in a manger, but who is he today? He died for us. He is the one that has saved us, and we are living for him today. Praise God. Our announcement for this week, we will be having, sorry, our pastor has done the welcome. So I will therefore go through to our announcement. Our announcement for this week, our month of prayer begins January. That is next month. We are hoping to have our assembly full each night. And our theme for our month of prayer, countering the sin culture through spiritual laws. Our bishop spoke on that last week. So I'm now reminding you, countering the sin culture through spiritual laws, and that's Psalm 19, verse 7 to 11, and Romans 8, verse 2. So please bear that in mind. Our weekly announcement, our brotherhood service and prayer meeting continues online. And our tomorrow night is Monday night. We will sorry, we will not be having prayer meeting tomorrow night. We normally have it in the assembly. We will not be having it here tomorrow night. And on Wednesday during the day, that is 12 noon, we will be having prayer and fasting service 
On Friday night, we continue with our youth meeting. I understand we have a brother here to be baptized this morning. Can you stand so that we can acknowledge you? Bless the Lord Jesus. Let's give him a round of applause. The angels in heaven are rejoicing this morning because a soul has been taken from sin. Let's give him another greater grace temple. Welcome and a round of applause. We are happy to have you today. Bless the Lord Jesus at this time, our moderator in Jesus' name. Just to continue those announcements, we'll, have, we'll be having our what night service on Saturday night at 9.30. Come on now, 9.30 Saturday night, and we need to be here, worship and praise all his goodness in 2022, and then get out of here because Sunday morning we want to be here on time and in a joyful spirit. God bless you. Please now welcome our praise and worship team as they minister to us in Jesus' name. And for praise and worship, amen, amen. Put on your praise robe, amen. You have on your praise garments, your garments of praise. Hallelujah. And your instruments ready to praise the Lord, amen. The Virgin Mary had a baby boy. The Virgin Mary had a baby boy. The Virgin Mary had a baby boy. And they said that his name was Jesus. Oh, oh. 
is now the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen? Amen. We are going to take some time and just worship him. Hallelujah. We're going to worship him. We're going to worship him. Hallelujah. Light of the world, you step down.
just excellence excellence in his name every way you turn it over up or down upside down ah he is excellent glory be to God born the seed of a woman never before never before and Mary could not understand it she said how can this be because I do not know a man but God has a way that surpasses all our thoughts, all the knowledge that we have. God has a way of showing and bringing his purpose to fulfillment in the fullness of time. God bless you. God bless you. We're going to be asking um, Evangelist Fisher to come and greet us. Today's service is being held under the leadership of the ladies department doing a great work and we just ask you to put your hands together make her welcome ah. doing a wonderful job and we want to salute evangelist fisher the leadership she gives to the ladies movement in greater grace and the work that god is doing through her and her team to build the kingdom of God, evangelist. Can we bless the name of the Lord? Come on, can we praise the name of the Lord? Praise God. I just said we are two or three. Enough of us is in here. Can we stand and give God praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. You know, I am living near a stadium, and when you hear the noise, you are wondering what is happening. And so when we get a chance to praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, this morning I said to my daughter, I don't even feel like I can make it. And she said, stay home. I said, no, I'm going to come. I greet Bishop Holdsworth, Pastor Rhoda, and all the ministers here this morning and the saints of Almighty God. Let me tell you something. It's good to trust God. Amen. It is good to trust God. Yes, don't say you know God and you don't trust him. It is good to trust God. 
And I want to say to the ladies of this church, continue the work. Some of us won't be here for next year. We don't know. But let the work of God encourage some young ones. Sometimes you encourage them and you wonder where are they. Don't stop praying. Sometimes you pray and you think your prayers are not answered. It's answered before you pray. God bless you today. Have a great time in the Lord. It's not about cake and wine and food. It's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. This young man said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Jesus. When I think of the healing power. Oh, hallelujah. And the goodness that you have done, my soul. Say amen to the will of God. God bless you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Celebrate what the women are doing. Um, food packages, gift packages of different kinds, envelopes, purses. In this time of need, those are among the things that our women are doing in Greater Grace, in Vineyard Town, and its environs. At this time, little Hallelujah. sister Danae Graham is going to be singing for us, blessing our hearts. Put your hands together and make her welcome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Oh, thank you so much, Danae. Yeah. Sister Colleen, you remember the days when I could turn a tune like that? <laughs> God is good. And he is raising up younger ones to do mighty things in the house of God. We just want to support them, to nurture them, that they will grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to, yes, I acknowledge um, Pastor and Associate Pastor Dixon already, but I'll ask Bishop to allow them to do the greeting. At this time, it's offering time, and we invite you all to stand everywhere. We will repeat the Gribble's Creed. We affirm that, that the tithes belong to God for, for the work, work of God. God. We, we affirm we will not rob God of his tent. We affirm we shall stand on the promised blessing. We affirm that he which soweth sparingly shall reap sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let us give, not grudgingly, not of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. All the cheerful givers in the house, put your hands together and celebrate. God loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Father in heaven, we thank you for what you are doing amongst your people here in greater grace. And we just want to bless your name at all times. Bless you, Lord God, with our voices and with the substance that you have given to us. We thank you for your provisions. You have been faithful. As we reach the end of another year, Lord, we look on and we say it's no wonder when John saw the vision, he saw written on your thigh the name faithful. Today we can say you have been faithful. And for this we give you thanks we give you glory, honor, and praise. Bless your people, Lord, as we continue to give and you continue to pour out your favors upon us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Please remain standing on this side and obey the instruction of the ushers.
noise for the world because the Savior is born. What a difference he has made in my life. Can you say the same thing? What a difference Christ has made in my life. Can we all say it? What a difference Christ has made in my life. Can we shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Ah, this time, please put your hands together. Celebrate our senior pastor, Bishop Oldsworth. Servant that God has placed hallelujah. in this time, part of the vineyard, to lead us. God bless you, Bishop Oldsworth. Hallelujah. Come on and bless hallelujah. the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Jesus is born. Yes. And we give him thanks. Amen. God bless you. you. May be seated. I give honor, praise to the Lord Jesus Christ today for this glorious, wonderful day to celebrate, to praise the Lord, and to give Him thanks for all that He has done. With a light in my light, brother. Ask Him to remove the camera. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. And I give thanks to the Lord for His goodness to me having kept me another year to see this day. And we need to give thanks for this day. Come on and bless the Lord, everybody. And we thank God for, amen, thank you. worshiping the Lord, amen, praising him during the year. It's been a challenging year, COVID and all. But thank God we are here, amen. Amen. And we just give the Lord thanks. There are some of us who are not here today have gone to the country. We will say come back next week. And we're going to have a, just a glorious time as we celebrate the new year as well. Amen. Amen, everybody. Amen. And amen. This is just a wonderful festive time of the year. And there are a lot of people who have a lot of problems about Christmas. They don't want to celebrate Christmas. They said a number of things about it, but we believe it's a good celebration. Amen. It doesn't have to be the day when Christ was born. The fact that he was born. Amen. And so we celebrate it at this time of the year. There are two holidays that I really love, and this is one of them. The next one is the American Thanksgiving Day. I believe that people should really spend time to give thanks. Amen to God. And Christmas is our, is our Thanksgiving day. Yes, sir. And we celebrate. We are very, uh, most people are generous this time of the year. There are some people who don't get anything until this time. So we are blessing God for that. Come on, lift up your hands and give the Lord praise. Yes, so, amen. So we celebrate the birth of the Lord. We are very happy today to have with us two wonderful people. Amen. Two of the best people I've ever met in my life. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Pastor and Assistant Pastor Dixon from the Missions for Christ Church in New York. Come on and bless the name of the Lord. And don't make the name fool you. That's their local name. But they're affiliated with Greater Grace Temple here in Kingston, Jamaica. Praise the name of the Lord. And we're so happy to have them in our company ever since they... We became acquainted with these people. They have been such genuine people. Amen. And I just thank God for being, um, you know, God has given me the opportunity to know them. Amen. And when you know good people, they add beauty and, and value to your own life. Amen? Amen. And it's good to meet good people because it will change you if you're not so good. Hello? Amen. Come on and give God a praise. When you meet good people, change you if you're not so good. Come on and bless the name of the Lord. Come on and bless God somebody. So we're happy for them. And we're going to have them to come. They're going to greet you. Praise God. They're spending their holidays. I don't know if another man that works as hard as Pastor Dixon. Amen. Granville Dixon is a hard worker. Amen. And a man who loves the Lord. Sister Dixon, you know her already. She has been, she's no stranger here been here many many times amen and we thank God for it. God bless them as they come to greet you I don't know who will come first or next but I'm glad amen they are here with us today they've been celebrating with us this wonderful day in the Lord God bless you as they come God bless you pastor <coughs> amen Lord. 
soon come up. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. Praise the Lord. God bless you all. Anyway, it's good to be here. Another time in the house of the Lord. Just want to be greet our bishop. Amen. I, you know, it's good sometimes you sit down and get accolades. Amen. It makes you feel good. I was sitting there and I think back in New York. By this time, every door, every window, every little <laughs> ear that would come in, you got to close it. Amen. And I sit here, you could go without a jacket, get in the fresh ear. You should thank God. Amen. How wonderful and how great God is. Some place is cold, some is hot, some is warm, and yet God controlled it all. But I just want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. I just love to sit down and listen. When I'm coming to Jamaica, I get a new dish, I wash it out, and I bring it with me. So when I come to church like now, I open it, and I receive in it, and then I close it and take it back with me. <laughs> amen, amen. You know, there are sometimes folks don't really see the greatness of God. We just take it for granted. And I was looking around, I said, how clean the folks look when they pass you. They dress their suit just nice and clean. And it tells me cleansiness is godliness. Amen. Amen. So we are just visiting for a couple more days. We'll be back in the cold, but I am sucking up the sun and the heat. Amen. Amen. I was so tired. I just come and I stay home and enjoying most of it. To be honest with you, my wife not really enjoying me because you think I stay home too often. But I am enjoying every moment of it because I need it. Amen. God is so good. Amen. And I just want to continue to worship him, continue to love him, continue to be a part of this family of God. Sometimes when we come, don't think we are visitors. We are a part of this ministry. Amen. Sometimes I just boast and some folks, I said, our headquarters in Kingston. We have about nine churches in Kingston. And so I said, yes, so we're not alone. Amen. So we are still celebrating God, celebrate his birth. Amen. And I want you to continue just to love the Lord. That's all we need to do, just to love the Lord. And everything will be all right. God bless you. Until, 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 until. just going to sing my song like I always sing. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Not the greatest of singers. Amen. But I love to sing. Praise God. Let me see if we can find it.
Praise God. So I'm going to sing this song. It's not a Christmas song. Amen. But I'm just going to sing this song. When Israel out of bondage came, as see before them lay, the Lord reached down his mighty hand, and he rolled the sea away. Then forward still his travelers will go the billows dash and spray. When I come, green tread, we will push ahead, and he will roll the sea away. Before me was a sea of sin, so great I dare to pray. My heart is a Savior, and, and He rolled the sea away. Then forward still is Jehovah's will, though the pillars dash and spray. With a concrete tread, we will push ahead, and it will roll the sea away. When sorrows dark, like stormy wave, were dashing o'er my way, again the Lord in mercy came, and he rolled the sea away. Let us all stand and sing the chorus. Then forward still, it shall hold, it shall hold the billows, dash and spray. In a concrete hand, we will close our hands and roll the sea away. Then forward still, it shall hold, it shall hold the billows, dash and spray. With our concrete breath, we will push our hands and roll the sea away. Praise God. We are not looking backward. We are looking forward. Amen. Praise God. And we are marching on. Hallelujah. Yes. To Zion. Amen. Praise God. So we thank God for this holiday. Amen. Jesus is not a baby anymore. Amen. Praise God. But he is the king of kings. And he is the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. He is our savior. Hallelujah. And so we thank God today. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together and bless the name of the Lord. Come on, bless the name of the Lord. Certainly, he rolled the seas away. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Down from his glory, ever living story, my God and Savior came, and Jesus was his name. Born in a manger, with his own a stranger, a man of sorrows, tears, and eyes. Oh, how!
substance. Somebody that's the mystery behind the history. The history is his coming. The mystery is the reason. Come on and give God a praise. Come on, lift your hands and give the Lord a praise. This morning, as I reflect on the story of the coming of the Lord, which is a regular story, uh, today or this time it takes on greater meaning to us I could not help but think of what a great story it is one of the greatest stories ever told and some things that had escaped me before came forcible to me in the story praise the name of God because the story reveals the power of God in a way it has never been revealed before. But the story also reveals God's faith so true. and confidence in the people he has made, which means you and me. We don't have a lot of confidence in ourselves or may I say it another way, we don't have the confidence in ourselves the way God have confidence yes. in us. If we knew how much confidence God have in us, had in us, we would have trusted him more. Come on somebody, let's praise God. And more would come out of our lives, more glorious, amen, revelation of God's power. Because the real reason for you and I being here is to reveal the power of God. 
is to reveal the power of God. You were created uniquely designed by God so true. to reveal his power. power. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Nobody ever told you that. I'm telling you that today. I'm telling you that you're no mere statistics, that you're not just one another human being, that you were uniquely and purposely created. Come on and give God a praise. So much so that there is no two persons like you. Are you hearing me? They may resemble you, maybe have your color, different features that you might have, but there are no two persons like you. You are unique. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Lift your hands and give the Lord a praise. And secondly, you were made to reveal God's purpose. Hallelujah. And God's power. Somebody give God a praise. So let's put aside all those who would knock you down, make you feel bad, make you feel like you're not as good as somebody else. You're as good as anybody else. You are no second class citizens where God is concerned. You're not children of a lesser God. Are you hearing me somebody? It doesn't matter how you feel. It's not your feeling that does it. It's knowledge. The Bible says that. The Bible says you're great. Psalm 139 says you're fearful and wonderfully made. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Oh, I wish I had some help today. Come on and lift your hands and give him praise. You are fearful and wonderfully made. And who made you? God. Yes, your mother conceived you. Your father had something to do with it. But they didn't bring you here. It was God who brought you here. I wish I had some help. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. So stop feeling like you have nobody. Stop feeling like you're a motherless child. Come on and give God a praise. Stop putting your hand at your jaw and feel like you have nobody. <laughs> you are great. Come on, tell somebody you are great. Mm -hmm. And this story reveals the greatness of God in a unique way. And this morning I discovered it and I would share it with you. Come on and bless the name of the Lord. So now here is a story of a young woman, praise God, in her community, perhaps a woman not recognized, a woman not even, <laughs> you know, uh, not even talked about. Thank you. Uh, but, but she was in her community and God chose her for a wonderful story, the greatest story on earth. Oh my God, come on and give God a praise. Come on and give the Lord a praise. God went to one of the places on earth that was not even counted, a place called Nazareth, of all the places. Uh, you could think of Jamaica and think of some place in Jamaica that would, that would equate to Nazareth. There are some Nazareths in Jamaica. Come on and praise God. There are some places like Nazareth in Jamaica. And if you're from one of those places today, take heart. God is with you. God is there. And God is about to do some great things in your community through you. Oh, hallelujah. Start rejoicing. Start praising God. I, I, I could put this mic down because that's a message already. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. And put your hand together and bless the name of God. Come on and bless him. Ah, come on and bless him. You could, you could, you could go home now. Because the message is almost done. God chose a community that was least recognized and sent his top emissary. Didn't send Michael. He sent Gabriel. 
Come on and give God a praise. And when Gabriel comes, he comes with a message. Come on, somebody. When Gabriel comes, he comes with good news. Oh, God, help me, somebody. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Put your hand together and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So Gabriel now comes on the sixth month. And what did Gabriel say? What did Gabriel say? Yes, what did he say? Come on. He was sent to a virgin. Note who he was sent to, a virgin. Now, now some commentators say a young woman. I don't care what you want to put it. Virgin, young woman. He was sent to a young woman. Sent to a virgin. Come on and give God a praise. Read. Mr. What? And she was engaged. The word betrothed there means to be engaged to a man. Mm -hmm. And the man's name was Joseph. Uh-huh. This man was at the house of who? David. House of David. Read. The virgin's name was Mary. And I wanted to note her name because that word Mary is a special name. Come on and praise God. And it not always mean good things. Praise God. Mary could Hallelujah. mean a lot of stuff, including, amen, bitterness. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. Come on and give God a praise. Yes. Hallelujah. But her bitterness is going to be transformed. And trans, amen, ch and change into greatness. Come on, somebody, lift your hands and give God a praise, and lift your hands and give the Lord a praise. God had a way of changing people's names. <laughs> you see, because when God changed your name, He renamed you what He's going to make you. And people misunderstand because they don't see you the way he named you because he hasn't made you yet. Are you hearing me? But God has so much, so much faith in you and faith in the process that he can take the risk and name you before he makes you. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Right now God has renamed some of you right in this room already. What he's going to start to make you by the time you leave this place. Come on, somebody, lift your hands and give God a praise. And put your hands together and bless the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give God a praise. Amen. Mary, read. You can sit, sis. You can sit. Read. And having come in. And what? Having come in. Had he come in. The angel, the angel said to her. Said to her. Hail. Hail. Thou that are highly favored. You that are highly favored. The you Lord. Mean, you mean a Mary is highly favored? Mm. A common girl by the name of Mary mm. is highly favored? You mean a lady from a ghetto community is highly favored? Yes, sir. You mean a lady that uh, perhaps you pass away and, and don't amen, even look at? Not favored by the governor, not favored by the community, not favored by the mayor, not favored by the citizens of the land, but favored by God. Himself, you can't get higher than God. Oh, come on, lift your hands and give him praise. So if God favors you, it doesn't matter who else don't like you. God is in your corner. Come on and lift your hands and give God a praise. Put your hand together and bless the name of God. I'm serious. I'm not just preaching you a nice message. I'm serious. If God is for you, it doesn't matter who else is not with you. Come on and give God a praise. One writer said, God before us. Who? Who? can be against us. I don't think you know the magnitude of that statement. If God before you. So nobody could turn back Mary's blessing. No, nothing could stop Mary 
from being the mother of our Lord. Nothing could stop Mary from being the mother of the Lord of salvation. Oh, come on and give God a praise. Nothing could stop this ordinary girl from being a celebrity in God's kingdom. Nothing could stop her. No matter how you don't like her. Why? Because God was in her corner. Hallelujah. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. Is God in your corner? Is God in your corner? Then why don't you praise him? Why don't you open your mouth and give him some praise if he's in your corner? Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him praise. Hallelujah. The Lord is with me. God is my refuge and my strength. A very present help in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. Those who want him and know that God is in their corner, they have special praise to give to God. And no one can stop their praise because there's power in their praise. And they, hallelujah, God inhabits the praises of his people. So I'm not even praising God for what he has made me. I'm praising God for who he is. Because as long as he is who he is, he will always make me to be somebody. Come on and lift your hands and give him praise in this place. Put your hand together and bless the name of God. Come on and bless him. Come on and not bless him. I must confess. I must confess. I like to be authentic. That I'm not always good. But God is beside me. I'm not always victorious, but God makes the difference. I'm not always a person I want to be, but... Oh my God, come on and give God a praise. I'm not always the person of the faith that I want, but... And even when I think I'm going to go down, God. When I'm about to fall, he catch me. Before I fall. Oh God Almighty. Come on somebody. Lift your hands and give God a praise. When the enemy put blockages in my way. He just come and move the blockages. Before I stumble. And I'm able to recover. Not because of me. But because of God. Come on and lift your hands and give God a praise. Come on lift your hands and give God a praise. Read. Said, the Lord is with thee. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou. Come out of this, amen. Leave this church today with that assurance that whatever happens to you, the Lord is with you. Is with you. What an assurance coming from an angel by God. sent by God Almighty. to tell Hopeton. Hallelujah. And Albert, come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. And Anne Marie. Yes. And Hazel. Yes. And Tommy. Aye. That God is with you. Is with us. Come on, somebody, lift your hands and give Him Bless praise. Come on and give Him praise. Come on and give Him praise. Come on and give Him praise. A great message to ordinary people. So the Christmas story is a great message to ordinary people. The Christmas story is a message that make, hallelujah, ordinary people extraordinary. Come on, and that's why we should celebrate the Christmas story. Hallelujah, because it shows that God can turn ordinary, amen, people into excellent people and somebody need to give him praise. Oh, you're not clapping at you when you should, but you should really be glad today and give him praise. Come on and give God a praise and put your hand together and bless the name of God. Read, read. Blessed art thou. Blessed are you. Amongst women. Among women. Didn't you know that? Women, didn't you know you're blessed? Oh, amen. Among women. Amen. Oh, God, help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, oh, oh. But I'm not Mary. You don't have to be Mary. You're a foster. You're blessed among women. Are you with me? 
you're Gunter, you're blessed among women. Just that God didn't call your name the take out Mary name and place your name in it. Come on, somebody, lift your hands and give God a praise. The same blessing he gave to Mary is the same blessing to every woman in this place today. God is saying, blessed are you among women. You are uniquely selected for a special purpose. I don't know what God has for you, but God will tell you. All I'm telling you is that God has a special message for Bailey. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Amen. Put your hand together and bless the name of God. Come on and bless him. And I have some more news for you. You're not going to die until you fulfill that purpose. Amen. Oh, God, help the Holy Amen. Ghost. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Amen. One of the things we fear most is death. Well, let me tell you, purpose supersedes death. Are you hearing me? Yes. Purpose supersedes death death and when purpose is fulfilled death is not an issue you didn't hear me Amen. I said Amen. when purpose is fulfilled death is not an issue here the apostle Paul after he fulfilled his purpose I have fought a good fight I have finished my course I have kept the faith Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of life, and not for me only, but for those who love his appearing. Somebody lift your hands and give God a praise and put your hand together. Touch your neighbor and say, purpose, purpose, purpose. Come on, come on, come on. Touch your neighbor and say, purpose. Purpose is on your life today. That's why you're still here. Purpose on your life. That's why they couldn't kill you. Purpose on your life that when the gun shall pass, it pass your house and go to somebody else's house because your purpose is still around. Oh my God, I wish I had some help. Come on and lift your hands and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise. Tell somebody purpose. You are preserved for purpose. Before God make anything happen to you, him hide you. Before God make anything happen to you, him put you in a basket and push you down the river. Make somebody catch you and preserve you in the same enemy's camp. Come on and give God a praise. Purpose could not allow Moses to die. Come on and give God a praise. So the Lord orchestrated something that Moses should be preserved in a basket on the river and saved by the enemy. Oh, I wish I had some ever feel like preaching this morning. Come on and give God a praise. The same man who was looking for Moses to kill him is the same house Moses was in and he was saved. Oh, I wish I had some help. Oh, feel a Holy Ghost. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Satan, you can't do me anything until my purpose is fulfilled. God not ready for me yet until I fulfill my... And when purpose comes, death is not an issue. Come on and lift your hands and give God a praise. When purpose is fulfilled, you welcome death. I never see some people so afraid of death. Like Christian people. I don't realize that for Christians, death is your friend. Not your enemy. Can I say it again? For Christians, death is your friend. Not your enemy. Because you cannot be mortal until you leave from the mortal. Oh God, come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can't have resurrection until you are dead. Come on somebody, lift your hands and give God a praise. Put your hand together and bless the name of God. Come on and bless him. 
Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Stop fret about debt. Be more concerned about your purpose. And your purpose is still here. That's why you are here. And some of you don't start working for God yet. Don't allow death to come. And your purpose is not fulfilled. It's not God's fault. It's your fault. But the Bible says today, I am with you. Amen. Come on and lift your hands and give God a praise. Put your hand together and bless the name of God. But pastor, after me no know nothing, the Bible says, I am with you. But pastor, after me no have any money, the Bible says, I am with you. Where God is concerned, you don't need any of this as long as he is with you. When he is with you, he becomes your source. He provides for you out of nothing. Oh God, I wish I had some help. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. That message looks like it has to stay for another time. Come on and praise God, somebody. You don't need anything once you have God. Because God is the source. So stop fretting about what you don't have. Be concerned more with what you already have. And you have the best thing. You have God. The Lord is with you. Read. And when she saw him. And when she saw it. She was troubled at his saying. She was troubled. At his saying. At the saying of the angel. And cast in her mind. And cast in her mind. What manner of salutation? What kind of salutation this is this? This should be. Me's an ordinary little girl, young girl, in a place called Nazareth. And this lovely, bright, shining Gabriel come to me, little Mary, and said to me, God is with me. I've never heard that from anybody else. The people around me, my words now, bring me down. The people around me don't, don't rate me. Oh, God Almighty. And worse now, me go get pregnant. And me, oh, God. The trouble because the angel said, the Lord is with you. Read the rest of the story. Fear not. Fear not. Mary. So that's the first thing. Mary was grappling with your first enemy listen me carefully your first enemy to your purpose is fear what is fear false evidence appearing real everything to tell you you're not going to make it and it is not true because until purpose is fulfilled, death has to stay aside. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Amen. Read. For thou hast found favor. For God has found favor. Thou hast found favor with Rather, God. Thou hast found favor. With God. Oh, 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 oh. You see, here's one of the reasons why some of us don't make it. We're trying to do God favor. Yes. Rather than God finding favor in us are you hearing me so believe that the more we pray the more we fast we're doing God a favor and we boast and say we fast and we belong to prayer band and we belong to prayer warrior let me tell you I tell people I'm not a prayer warrior no I don't like the term I'm a praying person are you hearing me somebody and my prayers are answered I don't like the word warrior busy with the prayer because I don't know who you are fight. Because sometimes you're fighting, not fighting the right person. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. And I don't understand some of these warring factions. They must fight one another. And I fight somebody and I plead the blood upon people and say the blood of Jesus against you. I not plead no blood upon nobody. The blood is upon me. I want the blood upon me. The blood must cleanse me. The blood must wash me. Come on and give God a praise. Come on, somebody. This is the person I want to be cleansed. God, what kind of thing Bishop are talking about now? Let me tell you. Warfare is something you must understand. 
If you're not trained for warfare, you can fight warfare. Every soldier is trained to fight. And soldiers fight at different levels. We have generals. We have lieutenants. We have captains. We have ordinary people. It is a, a, a suicide to put a private in a general's position. Come on and lift your hands and give God a praise. And put your hand together. Bless the name of God. Beloved, when you hear about spiritual warfare, leave some things to the person who fights those. So, when it comes to demons and archangels and demons and demons, me not fighting those. Because me have Michael and Gabriel and all them will fight for me. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Put your hand together and bless the name of God. Come on and bless God somebody. Can I remind you that one man was trying to get one prayer true and he couldn't even get the prayer true. Why? Because there's an angel, a, a, a demonic force who came down to block his prayer. I wish somebody know what I'm talking about. And my God, they have to send for in the end another angels of equal, of higher rank to come and block and move the blockage in the air so his prayer could be answered so I'm not fighting those battles I leave those battles to the Lord what is the battle I fight the battle that is within me for I wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places how do you wrestle Listen carefully, put on the armor of God. What is the armor of God? The breastplate of righteousness. Ah, the helmet of salvation. The sword of the spirit. Come on, somebody. The girdle of truth. So if I'm a liar, I lose the war. You don't hear me. I said if I'm a liar, I lose the war. If I'm a busybody, I lose the war. If I chat too much, I lose the war. Oh, lift your hands and give God a praise, somebody. Lift your hands and give God a praise. If I don't like this sister, I lose the war. So that's the war we must fight. The war within us. Mary fought that war. Mary won the war. And here's what the angels said to her. You are highly favored. Among oh God, I feel my help coming. Among Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Amen. Lift your hands and give God a praise. Amen. Lift your hands and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give God a praise. Hallelujah. When you can fight within yourself and clean up yourself, the Bible says you're highly favored. Read Behold, behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Here is a message, beloved. You shall conceive in your womb, in your womb and bring forth a son. And bring forth a son. And shall call his and name. And shall call his name. Jesus. Jesus. He shall be great. He shall be great. He shall be called the he son shall of be the called highest. The son of the highest. Of the highest. And the Lord My God, God it get more ridiculous. Poor little Mary. Poor little Mary. They are going to get pregnant. And this man is going to be called the son of the highest. My God. Can you imagine how she felt? Oh, come on, church. Amen. We know the story as a, as a Christmas story now. But go back to Mary's day. It wasn't a Christmas story. It was a story of ridicule. Because this woman went get pregnant and she only engaged. Come on and give God a praise. You can imagine when she walk around with the belly in a Nazareth and come tell people, say, she not have no man. Them say, oh my God, get even more ridiculous. Come on, church. Amen. Are you hearing me? Put yourself in Mary's condition. Oh my God. Come on and give God a praise. But the consolation is that the pregnancy, the baby, is going to be the son of the highest. Yeah. Oh 
God Almighty. Come on, come on. Give me four, three minutes. I'm going to land this message for you to see what I'm talking about. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Ridiculous. <laughs> I can imagine all the boys around the place. <laughs> Looking at Mary with the belly. And she talked about angel. <laughs> Come on, church. You know, some people don't believe this, this story. You know, some people don't believe this scripture story. Because it's a hard thing to believe. Come on, I give God a praise. This woman walking around her, you know, biologically that's not possible. But who says it? Ah, that's what makes a difference. Who says it? That's what makes the difference. Who says it? And let me tell you, if you know God, you know that God can do the impossible. Oh, God, everybody, come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. If you know God, this story is not ridiculous. If you know God, the story is only another story of the miraculous working power of a great God. Because when the earth was without anything, the Bible says in the beginning what? Come on church, you know you, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was nothing and God creates something out of nothing if God can create something out of nothing God is able to make a young woman pregnant oh come on clap your hand for Jesus come on clap your hand for Jesus come on clap your hand for Jesus clap your hand for Jesus that's somebody the difference the difference is God come on look at somebody say the difference is God the difference is God the difference in your life is God the difference of what happened to you now what's gonna happen later oh come on I wish I had somebody who know I'm talking about tell somebody God the difference between this year and next year is going to be the difference between your poverty and your wealth oh I wish I had some help come on and give God a praise put your hand together and bless the name of God come on and bless him So God had more faith in Mary than Mary had faith in God. Come on. For he said, you shall conceive. You shall. And when God said, you shall, oh God, you get the message, man. You shall. If me say you shall, nobody believe me. I ever wonder where I'm up to. But if God say you shall, you shall. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Look at somebody and start prophesying beside them right now. Tell you shall, you shall. Come on, let God give you a word for somebody beside you right now. You shall. Stand to your feet and tell somebody you shall, you shall. Come on, look at somebody and say you shall, you shall. You shall, you shall, you shall. You shall, you shall, you shall be the head and not the tail. You shall let and not borrow. Oh God Almighty, come on somebody, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on and give him praise. Come on and give him praise. I shall, I shall. I shall not be moved like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. God says it. I believe it. I don't have to believe it. God says it and that settles it. I say God says it. And that settles it. You shall. Thank you. 
Some people are getting ready to write you off. But the devil is a liar. God said tonight, you shall. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Finish the message. Read a little bit further on that little thing. You shall. Finish. And the Lord God. And the Lord God. Shall give unto him. Shall give unto him. The throne of his father David. The throne of his father David. Amen. Read. And he shall reign. And he shall reign. Over the house of Jacob. Out of the house of Jacob. Forever. Forever. And of his kingdom. And unto his kingdom. There shall be no end. Get even more ridiculous. Read. Read. Hallelujah. Read. Then said Mary unto then the Then said angel, Mary unto the angel. How shall this be? How shall this be? Seeing I know not a man. And I don't know a man. Then come the answer. How? Read. And the angel answered. And the angel answered. And the said angel unto of, her, hold on, hold on. You think the angel is a fool? The angel knows it can't happen unless God intervenes. So the angel now give her the answer. It now going to happen with a man. It's going to happen by God. The first man came here by God. Yes. Not by a man. God made a man before he made a woman's womb. You didn't hear me. Amen. God made a man before he made a woman's womb. God Almighty, come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. God blew breath in a man before he made a woman's womb. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Eko Shandalabu. Hello, Shanda. How is it going to happen? God is going to do it. And you can't ridicule God. God will make you eat your words. Come on, somebody. God will make you walk on your, amen, your, your force before you, ridic you ridicule him. God will, amen, make the sun stop. Yes. Come on and praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. God will dry up the heavens. Yes. And you don't know how it is. God. Yes. When I saw it this morning, I said, I have to bring this to you. Yes. I have to bring this to you. Because I meditated tonight this morning and I said, my God, Mary said, how it going to happen? Because she knew it can't happen biologically. But God had more faith in her than she had faith in yourself, in herself. And God had faith in you more than how you have faith in yourself. God is depending on you more than how you are depending on yourself as you enter into the new year change your thinking come on and give God a praise put your hand on your head and change your thinking you're going to achieve not because of you you're going to achieve because of him put more faith in him than you have in yourself come on and give God a praise hallelujah because God will never let you down how am I going to do it? I don't know a man. The power. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Shall come upon Anybody you. Anybody have the Holy Ghost? Amen. If you have the Holy Ghost, lift up your hand. Amen. Glory to God. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Amen. The, the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost shall what? Come upon you. Oh my God. Thank God he come upon me already. So, you know, me not, now if you come upon me again, me that's what I'm doing, I'm supposed to do. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Put your hands together and bless the name of God. The Holy Ghost makes the difference. What a story. What a story. And God has given us the Holy Ghost. And I said to you today, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, get him. Because when you get him, all the impossible things 
that you think are impossible, God is going to make it possible. Lift up your hands and give God a praise. Put your hand together and bless the name of God. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. All things are possible with God. I'm closing. I'm closing. I'm going to invite those who do the altar who, because I don't believe God bring this message for naught. I believe there are people here who life still has something for you not yet revealed and you've been getting visions and hints that God is going to do something in your life oh I know it's here oh you don't even have to put up your hand I don't want to embarrass anybody but I know you're here yes. and God is saying to you I still have something to do in your life Amen. and you know it's there you don't know how it's going to be done but you know it's there purpose is still in your life walk to this altar today I want to pray with you in a special way today because just as Mary says to the angel how can I and I know not a man remove doubt and fear in your life and the angel said to her the power of the Holy Ghost will overshadow you Come on and give God a praise. Put up your hand on your head and say, I'm overshadowed. There was a song we used to sing. We don't sing it anymore. Yes, I'm overshadowed. By his boundless love. By his boundless I love. Protection. I have got from protection the ah, from the Lord Jesus above. Walks Jesus walks beside me every passing day. And I know he guides me. I want to pray with you today. Just come. Just come. Join me at the altar in prayer today. Purpose is still in your life. Come on and give him praise. 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 Purpose is still on your life. Purpose is still on your life. Hallelujah. 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 Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Come on and bless him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spread out a little bit. Spread Hallelujah. out a little bit. I don't want you to bundle right now. Just spread out a little bit. I had to deliver this message today. I became pregnant with this message this morning. Oh, Come on down. I want to go all the way down here. Hallelujah. Jesus. come up down here. I became, I became pregnant in my mind with this message this morning. I had to deliver it. When I'm like that, I know God is speaking specifically to somebody. And he says to tell you, greatness is on your life. You've been shying from it, running from it, because you don't know how it's going to happen. But he says to tell you today, as it happens to Mary, it will happen to you. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give the Lord 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 a praise. As it happens to Mary, it's going to happen to you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not 
and your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him he shall direct your path you have given up you have given up he has not given you over you have given up you said it can't be done come on here you God said it will be done yes you 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 said can't be done and if I should give you the mic you tell me what I'm talking about but God said it will be done I want you to lift up your hands and give God praise today lift up your both hands give praise how shall these things be things in your life can't come together it's not you it's going to be God God's going to bring a way God's going to bring a way that before you know it he's going to deliver you ha, for the power of the highest shall, up, shall be upon your life in Jesus name come on church I need a praying church right now ah, glory to God hallelujah power of the highest ha, glory is upon your life hallelujah Hallelujah. You shall be great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A God needs a man like you. Yes. You didn't come here on your own. God allowed you to live. You didn't have to live. You know what it is when you have passed through, but God allowed you to see this day. Because purpose is on your life. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift up your hands and give him praise. Oh, come on, church. This is no ordinary message. Amen. Altar call. Lift up your hands and give God praise. Purpose is on your life. Purpose is on your life. Come on. Purpose is on your life. I want Elder and Sister Grant to come. Elder and Sister Grant. Both of you, come here in the front. Purpose is on your life. You've been trying to shy it and run away from it. And you wonder how it's going to happen. How you're going to be secured. But God said to tell you today, I am in charge, not you. Leave it to me. And I will work it out. Just be purposeful and do what I tell you to do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Because you shall not get away from what God has for you. If you run from here to Bathsheba, God have it for you. In the name of Jesus. God needs you in Jesus' name. Come on, let's clap our hands and give God a praise. Come on, come on church. Come on, come on. Everybody say purpose, purpose, purpose. Hallelujah, purpose. Purpose, purpose. How shall these things be? You know, beloved, let me tell you something. A little secret in my own life. When I came to ministry, I didn't know I would be here. I get many calls to go abroad. Every time I try to go, the Lord says, this is where you belong. I couldn't understand it. Couldn't understand it suffering but this is where you belong can't sometimes find two things where that this is where you belong oh my god i said god what kind of god are you i mean i don't have to if i if right now if i just call one call america and it's listen i ready i don't need anything i'm well qualified you know that and you know the amount of people would have want me and god said yes yeah, so you belong this is your purpose. And my God, when I see what God has done in my life. When I see what God has done in my life. Every day when I walk, in the mornings I, 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 I walk. It's my prayer walk. There are some ladies along the avenue who want to join me. And they think I don't want them to walk with me. It's not that. I love them. Love the ladies. 
but I want to talk to God. So I kind of, you know, yeah. And I said, God, I want to see how God turned the tide in my life. I'm on the plane almost eight times this year. This year, eight times I go abroad. And I don't pay for one of those trips. The people that pay for me. Sister Dixon's church and Pastor Dixon's church in October. God work signs in that church in the two days we're preaching their church. God, that's the purpose God put on my life. Come on and bless God. Come on and bless God. Come on and bless God. You must know your purpose. All my friends gone, whooped up. And all of them have church over there. And none of them are better off than me. Pastor Dixon can tell you, none of them are better off than me. Financially or otherwise. And some of them can't travel like me. And some of them can't leave them church. Because they're not train nobody. Hello somebody, are you with me? They're not train nobody. And God has worked it out. Through hardship. You see what sometimes eludes us is the hardship we're going through. That's part of the process. Everything easy, God not getting no glory. And when the hardship come on your life, first, first, and God get the glory out of your life, your life is just lifted up. Come on and praise God. Come on and praise God. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise. Come on, lift up your hands and give the Lord a praise today. Come on, lift up your hands and give God a praise. How can these things be? Hey, glory. Hey, Koshandalabo. The Holy Ghost will be upon you. And the power of the highest shall overshadow you. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost. Trust the Holy Ghost. I said, trust the Holy Ghost. And when God begin to work for you, you will be surprised. Come on and bless him in this place. Come on and bless him. 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 Elder Dixon, come and join me up here, please, sir. Praise God. Amen. And I want you to pray for these people. Purpose is on their lives. In the name of Jesus, come on. Hallelujah. Get a mic for Elder right now. Pray, Pastor Dixon. Yes. God's going to change some things in your life. I may believe that right now. I may believe that right now. Yep. I don't call it fortune because we don't deal with the fortune. We deal with blessing. Hallelujah. We deal with blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody say blessing, 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 blessing. Blessing, blessing, blessing. Everybody say blessing, 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 blessing. And your blessings are going to change right now. But you must depend on God. You must depend on God. Pray, pray, Pastor. Pray. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for purpose. Yes, God. We thank you for anointing. We thank you, Lord, for how can this be? This what happened is through the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, and Lord, we just lift you up today. Hallelujah. We magnify your name Hallelujah. through the power that you bestowed upon us. You have found favor in us. And Lord, at this time, as your people stand at the altar, Lord, for whatever reason they're here, we pray, God, that your anointing will break every yoke. Their unbelief, hallelujah, will be disappear. They will open their eyes and look to you and understand that you are God and you can do all things. 
Pray God that you will break, break through. Pray God that as they lean and you learn to lean in you, Lord, finding more power than yeah. they ever to yes, understand. Sir. I pray God that you will touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. I pray God that your anointing right now, God will make a change in their life. Their unbelief will say, Lord, I cried out. I now believe. I hold you by your hand. I will trust you, Lord. Though they slay you, yet, Lord, I trust you. And they'll come forth as gold. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon your promise, Lord. Just to know, thus said the Lord. Lord, we lift you up today for the word which is already gone. Lord, it said in your word it will not return to you void. But it will accomplish that which is set off to you. you. And right now, Lord, they are standing at the altar. I pray, God, that you'll touch their heart. Those who yeah. are yet yet believe, I pray, God, that you'll create in them a clean heart Hallelujah. and a right spirit. I pray, God, that the broken bones will be mended. Yes. The mind that they Hallelujah. didn't have will now change. They pray you will give them a new mindset, yeah. knowing that you are God and beside you, yeah. there in none else. I pray, God, yeah. that they become now a new creation. Yeah. All things are passed away. Yeah. Let them be new. Let them understand Glory. that Glory. there is a God Thank you. with love, with power, Thank you, Lord. with anointing, yes. will deliver them. Hallelujah. From this death, deliver them Thank from you. their self, deliver them. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I thank you and thank I you, thank Jesus. you for the faith that they have. Yes, to even God. walk to the altar. Yes, God. That faith, Lord God, will increase. Yes. I pray now, God, that you will give them great faith yes, to trust you. Yes. Great faith to believe you. Great faith to turn it over. Yes. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank what a Lord. friend we have in Jesus. Yes, All our sins, sins and grief to bear. Yes. What a privilege to carry everything, everything to God, God in prayer. Precious name. Hallelujah. Precious name. Lord, we just give you thanks and give thank you all you, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the word, Lord. We thank you ah, for the word. Glory, glory, thank you for glory. your anointing. Thank, thank you for your deliverance. Thank you. Lord, we thank, thank you for thank everything. You. Thank you. Lord, as I read this portion of the service, I commit everyone into your hand, Lord God. Break out yeah. every idol. Cast out every, every fool, yeah. Lord. Do some washing. Let yeah. your Holy Spirit do some washing. Yeah. Wash, 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 yes, wash. God. Wash them, Lord. Yes, Purge them, Lord, yes, with this up. That they be whiter than snow. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, God. You are God, and beside you, you there is none else. Amen. And Lord, we turn the rest of the service into your hand. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Learning to lead. Learning to lead. I'm learning to lead on Jesus. Finding. Finding more power than I ever dreamed. I'm learning. On Jesus, come on now. Oh, learning to lead. Oh, I'm learning to lead. Lord, I'm learning to lead on Jesus. Oh, find it. Oh, power. 
Sims being baptized in Jesus' name. We'll put our hands together, Brother Sims. Come on, put your hands together for him. Wonderful. Amen. That's Brother Sims. Oh, praise God. Come on here, Brother Sims. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for Brother Sims. And I tell you this, the Lord, the Lord gave me a vision. There are some young men coming out of this community. Some of them were at the altar here. God is going to do a great resurrection of young men in this church to build the kingdom of God in this area. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Put your hands together and bless the name of God. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Elder Bennett is doing a wonderful job. He is going around. He's a field man. And those of you who know that God has given you a sense of purpose and you want to join him to go to the fields, you can join his team. But you got to love souls. Amen? And you got to work hard because we're going to rebuild the kingdom of God. Come on and lift your hands and give God a praise. COVID, COVID not going to stop us. COVID just make us stronger. Come on and give God a praise. Put your hands together. Bless God, somebody. COVID only makes us stronger. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they're doing, and they're doing exploits now for the kingdom of God. Of God. God is doing some great things in my life as old as I am. Amen. I said, God, you are like, you renew my strength like the eagle. And I thank God for that. Amen. But we need young people, young people, amen, to pick up the baton and to carry the word. Thank you, my brother. God bless you, sir. Be prepared. Amen. Sir, sister wants to boast on you. She wants to show off on you. <laughs> she wants you to come and take a photograph. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. She gave him a Bible, and she just gave him a lovely Bible. What a wonderful thing. Come on and bless God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Next week, we start our month of prayer. It's not going to be starting. It's going to start the next full week, of first full week of January. So not this week coming, the next week. Remember, it's countering the sin culture through spiritual laws. It sounds like a very long-winded um, theme, but when you, it, so the real aspect of it is spiritual laws. There's a law that keep you in sin, but as a law can break you free from sin. Hello? So the laws we're gonna teach you are the laws that will break you free from the laws that bind you. How does that sound? 
the laws. Let me tell you again. Here's what, Paul, here's what Paul puts it. He said, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. So the law of sin and death binds me. The law of the spirit of life frees me. Amen. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. So we're going to change one law for the other law. Amen? That's, the That's why we see what's happening around. It's a sin culture. It's because laws are holding them. That's why they're rebellious. That's why they have pride. And that's why they are unbelief. Three things. Pride, unbelief, and rebellion. And the sin culture encompasses all of these three. The laws that God has, that God has set before us. These spiritual laws are going to break them. In the name of Jesus. Amen? Come on, lift your hands and give God a praise. Lift your hands everywhere. The Lord bless you. Lord bless Keep you, the Lord, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't have too much sorrel with wine and too much cake with rum. Be sober. Make sure when the Christmas is over, you don't lose your salvation in the Christmas. All right? God bless you. <laughs> Amen. Hey. And sugar, yes. All right? Yes. Cut down on the sugar. Especially if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, cut down on the sugar. Amen. They said, let the Christmas catch you in a good mood. Let the, let the Christmas catch you eating good food. All right. <laughs>